generation has no other choice but to take this kind of action. Activists are trying to deface property and artwork specifically because it is shocking. I don't know about you, but I saw the video of them throwing the soup on Van Gogh and I immediately cringed. It, it hurt to see, and I think that's what they're going for. My name is Danielle Butcher. I am the Executive Vice President of the American Conservation Coalition, which is a right of center nonprofit organization that was founded to give conservatives a voice on the environment. I am begging them to stop using these tactics. You cannot annoy people people into agreeing with you and certainly throwing mashed potatoes or glue or soup or dumping milk on a grocery store floor. Those are not ways that you convince people you are in the right position. And it's actually a position of privilege to be in where you can do these types of protests and expect no repercussions for you or for your cause. People are talking more about climate change in the aftermath of these demonstrations and these stunts, but the context matters, right? When somebody is in a grocery store and they see milk being dumped out everywhere or they're at a museum trying to admire Van Gogh and suddenly there's like mashed potatoes or soup thrown on it. They're not going home and talking to their kids and talking to their spouse and saying, wow, that was really insightful. I'm going to sign up. I'm going to go advocate for what it is that they're advocating for. More than anything, it's an inconvenience or it's appalling and people are shocked by it. They're not talking about these things in a good context where they want to link arms and join up and, you know, advocate for the cause they are uh, really put off by it. And I think that if you are fighting for something, it would be in your best interest to build allies. It's not based in reality to ban fossil fuels overnight. And in fact, if we did so, if we banned oil overnight, emissions would increase because we would be burning coal. Or if we were to stop uh, drilling in the United States, then that oil and that natural gas would still come from places like Russia who have even fewer environmental standards. We do it the most cleanly in the United States. We do it cleanly, efficiently. It's not realistic to ban fossil fuels overnight. And in doing so, we would actually harm the environment more. I do think that marches or demonstrations with speakers, things like that, with the signs, that, that can be effective enough, you know, but what I'm finding overall is that these tactics are steeped in hypocrisy. So if you are seeing a march like that, oftentimes you'll see tons and tons of litter and garbage left behind. Or if people are blocking traffic, then those cars are sitting in traffic and they're idling and they're emitting more emissions than they would have if you had just let those people be on their way and get to their destination on time. And so the tactics, again, they're focused on sparking conversation, whatever that means, uh, but they're not actually helping the environment tangibly.